Um, it's now my pleasure um, to announce also that two city school students have been selected as 2017 Bezos Scholars. Each year, 12 exceptional U.S. rising seniors and their teacher mentors from across the country are chosen to participate in a year-long leadership development program that includes a local community change project. And I want to point out that it's 12 students across the United States, not just at the city, not just across the state, but across the United States. And the fact that two of these scholars for 2017 are from Baltimore is, at, is an incredibly remarkable accomplishment. I would now like to invite our scholars, and they're good because they're here, they're coming, um, and their mentors um, who are coming forward to give us a presentation on the Bezos, did I pronounce it correctly? Bezos, thank you. The Bezos Scholar Program. So, um, and I'd like to welcome Bezos Scholar Isaac Spokes and his teacher mentor, Regina O'Neill of Baltimore Polytechnic Institute, and Scholar Andrew Altman and mentor Jennifer Gaither from Baltimore City College. Welcome tonight. And first, what we do, I'd, I'd like to hear from, um, we'll, we'll give the opportunity to hear from the students and their mentors, um, but first, Oh, actually, it's not a video. You guys are going to walk us through the PowerPoint? Thank you. I will turn it over to them now. Thank you. OK, so um, the Bezos Scholars Program is a program that serves to inspire and challenge young people um, to start acting on their passions and collaborate with their community to address community needs. Could you just, I'm sorry, could you introduce yourselves for oh. the board? I, I named your name, but they don't know who's who. OK, I'm Isaac Spokes, and this is my mentor, Regina O'Neill. And this is Andrew Allman and his mentor, Jennifer Gaither. Great, thank you. Um, so the Bezos Scholars Program is in its 14th year. Um, they gather students and educators from around the country to join in a week of discovery and dialogue at the Aspen Ideas Festival, which is a festival in Aspen, Colorado, that brings together leaders in their fields from around the country and around the world to speak about their topics in panel discussions and Q&A sessions and TED Talk-like talks. Um, and then after that, the teams all return back to their home communities and they start to create change projects that address a certain community need that they feel is necessary within their respective communities. And those are known as local ideas festivals. Um, so each year, as you mentioned, there are 12 students and their educators selected from there in the United States, and one educator and five students from the African Leadership Academy in South Africa. Um, during the Aspen Ideas Festival, there are also a supplementary 30-ish hours of leadership curriculum that they go through with us. We have leadership development projects, trust building activities, and just activities that help us to develop our leadership skills um, as students. Each year there are 5,000 new attendees to these local ideas festivals, and that includes ideas festivals from years past because the goal of each ideas festival is to become an annual event. And so, so far there are 145 local projects that have begun, and many of them have continued to become annual events and have gone year after year. And so there are now 13 years worth of strong alumni throughout the globe. Um, so this year, the topics of the Local Ideas Festivals are listed there. Um, my topic, and I believe also the topic of Jennifer and Andrew, is equity and educational opportunities. And so we're going to talk with you about uh, our specific projects this year. Uh, so my project uh, focuses on creating a website that will help, uh, that will be posting videos specifically around our International Baccalaureate or IB program. Um, these videos are going to start out in Spanish uh, for, st uh, for students and parents to help understand what, what the IB program is, um, to understand what this our extended essay is, which is a, a massive 4,000 word essay that IB students write by their senior year, uh, towards the end of the senior year, and those Basically, these videos will help um, anyone um, as we move on throughout the project. We're hoping it will be in English and uh, um, other languages to help students um, from all backgrounds understand how the IB program works. Um, but for right now, we're just starting out in Spanish. Um, so that's basically what it is. Our Ideas Festival is going to uh, look more like um, <clears throat> 
a number of different presentations uh, all to be held on one day in which we're going to invite uh, educators and students alike to discuss specifically equity in education um, with regards to English as second language learners and um, all students so that we can kind of level the playing field and increase the amount of um, kids who are eligible to go to these schools like Poly and City. Are there any questions about uh, either the Bezos Scholars Program or about our local ideas festivals? I have a question. And if you said it, uh, I, it didn't sink in. The, is there a mixing of the students from the United States and the students from Africa? Yes. Can you say a little bit more about how that works? And I apologize if I missed it. I yeah, so the program, um, it's in Aspen, Colorado. And so they bring the students from the United States and the students from South Africa for the same festival and we do all the leadership development training together as a team. So the students from South Africa come here? Yes, they come to the Aspen Ideas Festival. Have you found that post, have you gone to your festival? You've gone to your festival. Yeah, it was this past summer. Yeah, past summer. So have you found that after the experience together in Aspen, has there been any um, ongoing connection you have with any of the students that you met in South Africa, from South Africa? Yeah, we actually we have a group chat that goes on, and we all talk about our college acceptances. We talk about how senior year is going, and so we've kept a good dialogue with them. And we talked about what our local ideas festivals are looking like, and the kids in South Africa actually get together and do one big local ideas festival, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, in South Africa as opposed to in their respective countries because they come from around Africa to go to that school. So they're not all South African. They're not. No. Uh, okay. Um, and uh, so, yeah. a few of them have been accepted to college here in the United States, so it'll be nice for them to um, reconnect with their American friends that they made over in Aspen. Very nice. Very nice. Commissioner Frank? Just a question. Are, the, are, are you as mentors Baltimore City teachers, or what is your connection to the... Visa? Yes, sir, we are. Okay. We both I'm are. the librarian at City. So. And uh, I was Isaac's uh, AP Spanish language teacher. Thank you. Commissioner Cannon? Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, so yesterday I was at City College and met with a group of students, the Somos students. And so I think, you know, the, one of the issues that they're bringing up is that we have underrepresentation of ELL and immigrant students at our citywide schools. And how can we, and part of the issue is making sure they understand their options, um, that they have good communication, but many we even discovered have applied but are not attending and coming. Uh, they're accepted even and not attending. And so I just think your video project and um, is really important and we can even, I would just encourage you to talk with the students if you're not already and then we even work with um, our, our chief of staff is on this, <laughs> Alison Perkins Cohen is thinking about how we can communicate effectively to families to actually let, understand not only the option but then you know and, and to enroll. I think it's just uh, really important. Yeah, we actually are working with Somos. They're the ones going to make the videos, and um, it is specifically that's why we're starting in Spanish, uh, so that parents can see that it's accessible uh, for their students, so that they get you know it doesn't seem as intimidating. And so, yeah. Because actually, um, one of the things that we looked at when we had the first meeting with Somos, we looked at um, we did some research and found that the recently exited students are actually being accepted at places like City and Poly at a higher rate than um, than general education students, and uh, but they're just not coming. They're coming at much much small, smaller numbers. So there's something we're not doing very well in terms of communicating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully so. Are there questions, comments, uh, Commissioner Hassan? So with the local ideas festival. That's something that becomes sort of a branch off of your experience at the Aspen Institute. Are you thinking? Are you hoping? Are you planning maybe a local ideas festival to engage more city school students? Well, is that uh, are the the videos? Um, it doesn't have to be an actual like once a year festival. That like some of them are peer tutoring. Ours the videos are our festival. So. Okay, so not a, so it, it's not like a, a recreate a smaller right. version of it here. Exactly. So well, then my other question is. Have either of you been accepted to college? And if so, where? What are plans? And how do you think this might impact your sort of moving into young adulthood? Just a quick comment on your first question, actually. So our festival is similar to a smaller Aspen Ideas Festival. And so one of our goals is to bring in a lot of students from around the city and teachers and parents to start um, just engaging everyone to, to start talking about equity education and just create a discussion. 
Um, but in terms of college, I'm waiting to hear back from a bunch of schools, but I've gotten into Maryland, Virginia, UNC, and McGill in Canada. I've applied to a couple schools, but currently I'm only it got accepted to Maryland. Um, so that's congratulations. 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 So just in commemoration. Oh, I'm sorry. Were there other questions? Yeah. Great. Um, so in commemoration of your wonderful work um, and leadership, both at the mentor level as well as at the student level, and the fact that um, I know that at the national Aspen conference, people like Fareed Zakaria and Campbell Brown and all those other folks um, are there, which makes it an amazing honor. Um, but we want you to know um, that we would um, give up all of those folks, time with those folks, um, just to be able to uh, claim you all as Baltimoreans of our own. So we want to commemorate you and your work. So if you could step forward, we have some certificates of recognition. Mm -hmm.